Tommy Hitchcock Jr., American hero, maverick. Tommy Hitchcock was born in 1900 on Long Island, New York, but he spent his winters in Aiken, South Carolina, where he had a polo field. He learned to play the game as a child, and by 12 years old, he was totally committed to it. At 14, he was a recognized prodigy, and by 16, a top-ranked player. Tommy's father, Thomas Sr., was a 10-goal polo player and the most successful trainer of steeplechase horses in the United States. In 1917, Tommy Hitchcock was a senior in high school at St. Paul's in Concord, New Hampshire, when he volunteered for the Lafayette Escadrille, a French aviation service made up of Americans. During his first three months as a fighter pilot at the French front, Hitchcock was credited with two kills, German planes he shot down. He became the youngest American ever to shoot down an enemy aircraft at 17 years old. Hitchcock then got shot down himself and was wounded and captured by the Germans. Six months later, he escaped and made it to the Swiss border. His escapades made headlines in the New York Times. He was a hero and a celebrity while still only 18 years old. He then came home after the war and he entered Harvard and began playing polo again. And in 1921, he was selected to the first post-war international team competing against England for the Westchester Cup. He beat England at Hurlingham two games to one. And in 1922, he was raised to 10 goals. Tommy Hitchcock was still rated 10 goals when he retired from polo in 1939. During World War II, Hitchcock volunteered again and was posted to London. In June of 1943, the Allies were losing the fight in the skies above Germany, and Tommy Hitchcock became a strong advocate for the American-built P-51 fighter planes that the British were using. Except Hitchcock wanted to use England's more powerful Rolls-Royce engines. At first, the planes weren't performing well, and Hitchcock wanted to test it himself, and on April 12, 1944, at the age of 44, he crashed and died near Salisbury, England. The P-51 Mustangs eventually became largely responsible for the Allies taking control of the skies prior to the D-Day landing invasion. F. Scott Fitzgerald modeled his character in The Great Gatsby after Thomas Hitchcock. He was a maverick, hero, celebrity, and America's first superstar. Thank you for watching the video, and please subscribe.